Hey friends, I'm Sunish from Team Geeks, and in this video, I'm going to discuss how to generate a random number. Uh, how to generate a random number in C sharp, basically in C sharp. So let me create a simple console application that would print out some kind of random number, and let's see how to do that. So let me create a project. Simple a console application. Let me name it as uh, random number generator. Okay. Okay. Scrolling up, creating a project. Uh, we do not need these namespaces. Let me remove them. So basically, we have a class named random, which generates a random number for us, uh, which has a function which would finally generate a random number uh, for us. So basically, that class is present in system namespace. Uh, see, as you can see, there is no intelligence of that class now because I haven't included that namespace. So let me include that namespace first. So using System. So now let me print, uh, right and see. Until since shows me that there is some kind of class named random. So if I see class system dot random. So basically, if I press F12 or simply right click over it and go to definition. See the definition shows that there are like five to six functions out there in and these are virtual functions that means they can be overridden as well so these there are five functions three functions are overloaded as you can see the function next is overloaded here with no parameters and the second time with one parameter and the third time with two parameters so basically what do all these function do you know the first function next it returns a no negative random integer cool you need that then the second function simply returns a non-negative random integer that is less than the specified maximum. Okay, we will give it a parameter till where you just need uh, the limit where you just need that random number to you know, show pop up or something like that. The third one is like defining the range int min and min value and the max value. And, uh, within a specific range, as I was saying. Similarly, there are two to three other functions as well you can use. You can go through them. I know. Basically, in this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to use uh, and how to generate simply a random number. You can go about like finding other stuff as well. So basically, to use of functions, so I need to create the instance of this class here itself. So let me create an instance. Random, okay. Then uh, I can use the function now. The intelligence would show me. See, I can see the function next, next byte, next double, and you know these were the function that were present there. And if I use this function next again, uh, there are three. There were three overloads as we did see that. You no, know, we saw here there were three overloads of this function next. The one here, the here, and this one. See, we had three overloads. Sorry for that. Here. So basically, it's showing me again. See, three overload. One returns no negative number with the, uh, and it has no parameter. The second has one parameter. The third has two parameters. So let me use the third one. If I need to get a random number within a specified range, so I need to define that range. Suppose I need the number from starting from one and it ends up to like hundred. Okay. So this particular function would return me this function would return me a random number. Now let me just store it really, or just like let me just print uh, like about ten to fifteen random numbers. Uh, so let me loop them. Um, um, like suppose I need to print up to like uh, fifteen numbers. Okay. I. Uh, now simply I just print them on the screen so console white line okay okay random number 
one you know assembly is oh I should have quoted that I hope you would be getting it simple this no need of any explanation for this nah. okay then this and there were the function this was returning me so I'm going to use it here itself okay okay come on there we go oh, what was that <coughs> okay hope you're getting me uh, let me just run this start and it should print all those random numbers oh oops I didn't see that oh, let me hold hold that screen so simply console dot read line mm, that would hold that screen for a while let me see now oh, okay here we go random num what's known serializable attribute is 0 is 60 what did I just print huh. I didn't print that oh did I so I hope you uh, got what, what I actually wanted to print random number I didn't see that coming let me now finally execute and it should give me the desired output. yeah here we go so it generates me 15 random numbers uh, ranging from 0 uh, ranging from 1 to 100 so these values may vary from 1 to 100 and as I printed all those 15 numbers you can see they are yeah random sort of random numbers you know so this was it for this video this was a cool simple trick I mean this is not even a trick you know so basically we are we would be coming up with other tutorials on C sharp Java and all programming tutorials and we will be uploading them every weekends either Saturday or Sundays so you can also just you know suggest us some kind of topics which we need to prepare our next videos on so till then you can subscribe to our channel in case you do not want to miss uh, any of our tutorials so that's it goodbye